Hey guys, in today's episode, we're going to do things just a little bit different again, instead of just going out and looking at houses and some things that we've done. Um, we had a time on a house that we did down in Shell Knob, Missouri, it's right on Table Rock Lake. It was a cool house, uh, 30 foot tall walls. We did it in Monopore. We've shown some videos of it before, but I mean, it was really, really a technical house. Very much challenged that was involved in this. I mean, it was, it was really a lot of fun to do. Um, and while we had some time between the uh, footing forms or setting up or the footing concrete setting up and, and getting started on the walls, we were able to spend some time with John Martin from Roast Pumping. Um, he is my go-to guy, especially on a technical house like this one. He is my go-to guy for pumping. And um, so we spent some time talking to him. We talked with Justin Frazee, who is an instructor at Ozark Technical College, uh, who has um, over 10 years of experience in teaching the construction side. He came out, he put on a tool belt, uh, worked with us, it was Christmas break at that time, so he was able to work with us through Christmas break and actually experience what, uh, what ICF is, is like, spent some time with him, and then we spent some time uh, on the videos with uh, um, two or three of our guys, our, our workers, and actually showing and talking with them about some of the benefits of ICF as they see it from the working side of it. Kind of in between concrete pumps here just for a minute, concrete trucks uh, waiting for the footing to set up and we get uh, kind of a, a bonus here. We don't usually get to see, talk to John much uh, on a job site other than is it setting up, are we good, what do we do here? Uh, but since we have some time I wanted to get John Martin in here. John is from uh, Roast uh, Pumping and uh, is the head dude in charge. How long have you been pumping concrete? 20 years. 20 years. <clears throat> it's a long, long time. Um, John most knows more about concrete than most people will ever learn in a book. It's just, it's, you know, when you got a guy like this, you really depend on their expertise and their experience. And so I'm really thrilled to have him here. Um, what, what we talk about ICF. You've done a lot of ICF houses yes. for me. You've done a lot of ICF houses for other people. So, yes. what, what's your experience with ICF? What do you think about ICF? Uh, it, my opinion, it's going to be the only way to go. Um, I think they've come a long ways. Guys used to dread them. I used to dread them 10, 15 years ago. Um, the finished product was great. The pourability was questionable. Um, everybody has come leaps and bounds. Um, they've all come up. They make the pourability a lot better, sturdier to pour. Um, they've, they've come leaps and bounds and I actually enjoy doing them. Um, Getting the mix right, yeah. you know, slows us down a little bit. But when everything's going off, they're actually they're not bad to pour. Um, we get our windows going, top them off, and, and move on to the next one. So usually it goes. Um, these ones always here. It's knowing concrete, and this is a newer ready mix for me, so I don't know their mud and little experience with them. Um, so it's not doing exactly what I want to do today, <laughs> but it will eventually. I mean, that's the thing about concrete; it will crack and yep. it will get hard. Yep. Um, so. We're just in a standby for a few moments, and uh, hopefully we'll be rocking and rolling before too long. But uh, definitely ICF in, in everything. And we do swimming pools, homes, monolithic pours constantly now. Um, that's the next step uh, evolution, I think, in, in ICF is doing the monolithic pours, footings and, and walls. So I, I enjoy it. I like it. Well, you know, we've we kind of push the bounds. Yes, we do. <laughs> yes, we do. Uh, we, we don't go simple. We, we, we like the, the, uh, the, the challenges. Mm -hmm. We like the challenges. Mm -hmm. I enjoy the challenges. They make me nervous, but when they're all said and done, I really, really enjoy seeing them all done. Um, they're excited. And that's why I use 
John. Uh, they are my exclusive pump truck guys. Uh, I, I wouldn't think about pouring a, an ICF wall without John or Dakota or James. Uh, you know, coming onto the to the to the side, especially this guy right here on a, one that we've got that's as technical as it is today. I uh, feel way more comfortable doing a house like this when I got John uh, here with his truck. So, thanks for being here today and You're spending a little bit of time with us. Thank you guys. Okay. If you're an ICF builder, I would encourage you to find somebody like John Martin. Uh, John has over 20 years of experience, like he was saying, pumping concrete. He learned in, South, in uh, Southern California pumping on huge high rises where they were going up way more than they were going out. Um, I go to John for any kind of technical questions uh, about my mix, about my the particular house that we're doing to see if there's anything special that we need to do. So I'd encourage you to find somebody like John. It is invaluable to have him on our job sites. And the people that he's trained, um, same thing. It is just an invaluable thing to have somebody that you could depend on, like John and Roast Ready Mix. We're just really glad to have them. Um, now we're gonna spend some time with um, a couple of our guys. You've already met them before, Ben and Caleb and Jake, and talking about things that they see from the working side of the industry and how it, com how it compares and differs from stick build houses. better than standard stick frame. Uh, well, you know, especially for uh, us, you know, out here in the Ozarks, um, we're right in the heart of Tornado Valley. Yeah. So the wind resistance is obviously like a huge, huge thing for, or, or uh, a large part of the appeal for people out here. Right. Um, obviously, you've got people like this who have lake houses, so the water resistance that these houses um, provide as well, especially with the monopore system where we get rid of that cold break. Right. That's obviously a big appeal. Uh, the burn time being so slow, I mean, that's obviously a big appeal no matter where you live. Um, so there's just a lot of stuff. And, I mean, as much money as you can save with the energy efficiency and, you know, throw a couple solar panels on top. I mean, there you go. Pays You're for set. itself. <laughs> set for retirement. Right. Maybe you could tell our audience um, just a little bit about why you think ICF is the better route to to standard stick framing, or if you actually think that. Well, I do think that. I think ICF is better, um, and it depends what you're looking for in a house. Um, you know, your your typical stick framing um, is great. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Right. Um, it does the job. Been for years. Yeah, yeah. They've been doing it for a long time. Um, 
But if you want a little more out of your house, if you want it, you know, if you want it to stand longer, if you want it in the family, you know, yeah. I would go ICF. Um, yeah. The the efficiency is fantastic, um, and here in the Ozarks, especially, we get crazy weather. You know, it changes all yeah. the time, totally. and. Uh, this would be perfect um, if you're in an area where there's high winds, you know, whether it be on the coast mm -hmm. or, yeah. or in the Midwest. Um, and it goes up so quick. I mean, this house we started uh, was it two weeks ago or two um, and a half weeks ago. I think we're ago? sitting on three weeks right now, three weeks. just because of the second, the two stories. Anyway. Right. Yeah, and we've gone through Christmas and holidays and stuff, yeah. so. It's gotten pushed back a little bit, but I mean, three weeks for a whole house, and there's a lot still to be done. But um, but you got the main structure. And yeah. All you have to do is set trusses on, and all that's left is into your framing. Mm -hmm. so. A little splashy, so take it easy. We have another bonus today. This doesn't usually happen. <laughs> usually we've got guys that have just have their experience with ICF. We've got pump truck operators, concrete truck drivers, things like that. Today we have somebody from the classroom, Justin Frazee, and so with Ozark Technical College. Uh, tell me tell me what you do there and uh, then we'll talk a little bit about ICF. Yeah, so I'm an instructor of construction technology at OTC, Ozark's Technical College. Uh, let's see, I've been teaching 10 years now. Uh, seven years faculty there and, and, and basically uh, trying to take care of that program there at OTC here. So, yeah. Well, I started looking for somebody that could maybe refer workers to us and uh, somebody got the bright idea that I should talk to somebody at OTC and I, I looked at all of the different instructors there and I thought, I know this kid. <laughs> Justin went to high school with my daughter and so uh, we, we hooked up and I sent him an email and I said, uh, you know, I build ICF and, and here's what I do and here's what I'm looking for. Could you help me out? I don't hear anything from a week. And I think, ah, is this going to blow was me Was it off? a week? It was at oh, least a week. Okay. And so uh, finally after about a week, I get this, this email back. I love ICF. I'm excited <laughs> about this. So uh, we've, we've spent some time talking. We've yep. spent some time, you know, we're going to do some things in the classroom maybe and, and I'll be able to show the kids what... Um, what ICF is uh, on a first hand and not just learning it out of a book. So I'm really excited to have you here. What, yep. do, you, what do you think about ICF? And uh, Justin's been able to spend a few days on the job site. Yeah. Christmas break right now. Yeah, so, Christmas uh, break. So I'm uh, filling my time working on this job. It's been quite the learning experience. I came in here, I, I knew what ICF was. Uh, I kind of know the technical parts of it, but I haven't really worked hands-on with this particular system. I did an unusual type ICF job years ago. Uh, wave of the future, wave of the future. This is the way houses are going, this is the way houses should go. Uh, the advantages far outweigh the disadvantages, uh, energy efficiency wise, uh, storm resiliency, uh, just ease of, of the system. Uh, I overheard John's uh, conversation, everybody's starting to figure everything out and it's getting easier and easier and easier. It's been quite the, the opportunity for me to be uh, in on it from not the beginning, but but uh, not too far in on the on the build, and uh, it's been been very uh, knowledge. Oh, learned a lot. Learned a lot. Now we threw Justin in way into the deep end on this one. Uh, this house is not a, a typical house. You know, typically you're going to pour a eight or ten foot wall at one time, and that's it. And these walls are pushing thirty feet tall. Uh, monolithic pour with the footings and the walls at the same time. So. Um, if you ever get a chance to learn anything, yeah, it would be on this Boy, job. I mean, yeah, what a great job for me to come spend some time on. Because, mm -hmm. like you told me before, this is one of the more technical ones, if not the most technical mm -hmm. one you've done up to this point. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it worked out well uh, for me to check off my box of professional development hours <laughs> for the year. This is the way to do it. So, yeah. I don't know how much I'm going to charge you for that. Yeah, yet, well, you know, that's all right. That's all right. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad we got yep. an opportunity to spend time great. with you during it's Christmas great. break and. Look forward to what we're going to be able to do in the future. Yep.
too, it was really exciting to have Justin on the job site with us through the Christmas break and be able to come down and work and actually, you know, get his hands dirty and put on a tool belt and not just have to be in a classroom all the time. Um, it's really cool when you, when you take the things that you've learned in a classroom and you actually come out and get to do them with your own hands in the field. And we, <laughs> I mentioned that we threw Justin into the deep end. We threw him way into the deep end. There were sharks swimming around. Uh, this was a really technical house, and uh, I'm sure that December's put some some pictures of it up so that we'll be able to see it. It is. Uh, it was really a lot of fun to do. It was fun to have Justin there, to have somebody that's got the knowledge that he has to be able to see what we're doing and give us some ideas and uh, also learn from some things that we're doing. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, a little different than our normal, uh, get to meet some of the guys and some of the guys that come on our job sites. and. I uh, hope that you'll come back and see us again, subscribe, ring the bell, and we'll see you next time.